The title of this podcast is For Want of Awareness. This was inspired by the poem by Anon that's called For Want of a Nail. So I'll start reading the poem first. For want of a nail, for want of a nail, the shoe was lost. For want of a nail, the horse was lost. For want of a horse, the rider was lost. For want of a rider, the battle was lost. For want of a battle, the kingdom was lost. And all for the want of a horse you nail. When I think of that, I think about for want of awareness. Awareness is the one thing that when you are practicing awareness, you are able to see your thoughts, but not become identified with them. And when I say thoughts, I'm thinking about those thoughts that are default settings the judging, the complaining, the internal resistance, uh, the blaming other people, all those things you can find yourself doing as I've done many, many times. And when I do that, I lose the present moment. I lose the capacity to understand that there's a choice, one that takes me off the path of peace and one that takes me on. For want of awareness, I can be aware that I have a choice to be bothered by what other, what, uh, what other people say about me, or I can let that pass, choose to let that pass right through me. I can be projecting myself in the future, creating anxiousness that takes me out of the present moment, or I can be ruminating about things that I didn't do well, things that have, uh, that are from the past that I'm that I'm bringing into this present moment, even though there's nothing I can do to change the past. I, and in doing so, I have no inner peace and I suffer. All of that for want of awareness. Now, how do you get to this thing called awareness? Well, for me, it's been a well-being practice. It settles me down. It, it, it lowers my uh, tendency to go right to my default settings and start engaging in that behavior when something doesn't go the way that my mind thinks it should go. I'm able to take a deep breath figuratively and sometimes literally so that I can be aware of what's really there, like how life just kind of slows down. Instead of me working against life, me be, becoming frustrated with life in the, in the uh, form of situations or people, I get in flow with it. I don't take it personal. I'm able to see the whole feel. I'm able to see the good in the moment. And even doing challenges, I'm able to see it. That's how key awareness is. So the next time that you are having or experiencing some, some conflict, or there is the potential for conflict with a colleague or with a uh, loved one, really, really try to cultivate awareness in those moments, take a step back. And sometimes you need the support of a friend that to, can help you bring, that can help bring you back to the present moment so that you can root yourself in awareness and understand that the action that you think you need to take right now is actually a reaction as opposed to an intelligent response about what action to take. And that intelligent response is informed by being committed to taking the path that leads to peace. So just remember, when you have no awareness, there's a lot of things that can be lost. Just like when you don't have a nail, you lose, you don't have a horseshoe, you don't have a horse, you don't have a rider, you lose the battle, and you lose the kingdom. And in these terms, what you lose is, you lose opportunities, you will lose the present moment, you will lose relationships that are near and dear to you over time. Uh, and you will lose 
your very life. What I mean by that, your ability to experience life in a, in, in a way that is always turning you on. Even during the challenges, you lose the capacity to be grateful for those too because they help you deepen your practice. All of that for want of awareness. Thank you.